Civic Crown Crunch is so good and part of this complete breakfast. Civic Crown Crunch! That's my favorite cereal! Eat up, boys! You're growing big and strong! Now that's what I call breakfast!
guys this is ryan and i'm dj and you're listening to 60 cycle hum the guitar buying selling trading mixing botting blah 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 Bot- blah, botting? blah 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 i can't remember all the words podcast wait is it like that's a hot bod yeah like botting? total bod podcast look at these bods so hot right so now hot bods so uh, our shirts are off right now you can't see that yeah we Actually, got- wait, no you can't because there's a camera yeah there's a camera this is the first time that we've done a little video of the podcast we're gonna make this pretty quick because you got places to go people to see yeah when you're as popular as me yeah which ryan wouldn't know about <laughs> <laughs> all right we played around with the pedal here today the uh the tailored fx civic crown uh, overdrive, not cinnamon crown, not civic. cinnamon crown, <laughs> civic crown. We had a little trouble with that earlier with the the intro to the video that you guys enjoy, enjoyed very much. I'm sure. Oh well, they, they they've seen the video yet. They've seen the video okay. as of hearing this. This okay. will be on the back end of the video, dude. Yeah, the civic crown overdrive. That's my favorite. <laughs> what do you think of this pedal so far? Man, it's cool. It's really fun. Actually, I think that's the first thing I said is when you have me plug it in and just like try it out. I was like, this thing's cool. Uh, even like setting it at 12 o'clock, like right when you just get out of the box, plug it in. Uh-huh. It sounds cool. Yeah, like, totally. Straight up. I mean, I really liked it uh, through this Fano Jazz Master uh, with the P90s. And um, the Gretsch I played through with the Powertron sounded great. But I was super digging kind of like that. P90 feel. Yeah, don't so. forget to speak into your mic. Just as a reminder. I'm not speaking into my mic. I mean, it is, you can look at you can look at me, but don't talk when you're looking at me. I'm a professional. I don't want you to talk when you look at me. I'm right? a professional. <laughs> Shut your mouth when you're talking. Just, to me. just look at the oh, mic. No, I just loosened it. I didn't tighten All right, it. All right, it's oh, fine. Shoot. But I have I've had a more time to mess around with this thing than you have, uh, which is a lot of fun. I got to use it at, at church, and for some different things. It's a really fun drive. Dude, it is. I'm super impressed. Like, the same as you, like, a couple minutes into messing with it, I was like, oh, yeah. Was that this, exactly what you did? Yeah, this is like, I, I really like this. And the, the freaking lights on the knobs, Oh, my man, gosh. OMG. I want every pedal I have to do that now. Yeah. It's so Strymon's cool. Strymon's got to step up their game now. Yeah, no kidding. Why are they slacking so I hard? Know. But this is, I don't even know if this is based on anything. I can't... There's no information that says it's based on like a tube screamer or something like that. It might be an indiv- like a, an original circuit, uh, but it's just this kind of like if you set the the mids to if you set the the EQ to just kind of noon on everything, it's like just really just kind of warm, crunchy, yeah, like gritty sort of thing, and it's just super useful. When I used it at church this last week, it was always on basically. 
Like I didn't do any other pedals, even though I was prepared to like stack a clon in front of it or stack a tube screamer behind it or play around with fuzzes. Doesn't need it. I was like, this thing's on the whole service. Like this thing is so freaking great. Um, the, the parts you were playing sounded great. It's, you know, it can go from really light kind of transparent stuff. It almost went fuzzy. Like all the way up to like a fuzzy sort of thing. And it's not supposed to be, um, like a super high over gain, but totally gets you like into the hard rock sort of thing. Yeah. Like hundred percent easily, easily. What's the name of, of the, of the guy? Let me look this guy up real quick. I, uh, I, I feel bad. Looking. Isn't it FX? That's the name of, Oh, it's, it's Arthur Ingram. Arthur, Arthur Ingram. He's the guy behind, uh, uh, tailored FX. Not can to be confused with Arthur, the aardvark. <laughs> no, not at all. Not My an middle name's Arthur. I would, if it was an aardvark who made this, I would be impressed. Yeah, I'd be super impressed. <laughs> <laughs> if it was anything that wasn't a human that made this, I'd be pretty yeah. impressed. Well, robots. Okay, they make up. stuff all the time. Yeah. Okay. You know what? But now we're talking into like iRobot. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna take over the world. What is this? A robotics podcast? <laughs> <laughs> so is it? Why don't you? Why don't you play a little bit? Give us your clean signal real quick. Okay. So yes, yeah, so this is an AC twenty. Uh, Morgan AC20 uh, and then a Fano Jazz and I'll just play it right in the middle uh, just like everything open tone volume and just and then just like turning it on playing that same just like some really nice open stuff uh, with everything at 12 o'clock um, with the lights lighting up oh, because of course. that's the bomb it's beautiful I uh, It's just a great sound. Yeah. Like it, it offers so much. Like it's got kind of that sizzly tube scraper sort of thing going on, but it's also got kind of this high, like high mid, like vowel grit to it that you yeah. get out of like kind of like a Marshall type sound yeah. or, or something of that nature. It's supposed to, the, the write up on it is supposed to, it says that it's supposed to play with your amps really well. Like it makes whatever amp you play it into just sound like more of what it is. That's yeah. I can totally see that in my AC 20. Cause as I turned it on, I realized I'm like, cause the AC 20 is a funky layout. You have a, <laughs> we have a, a videographer who doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Yeah. He's trying to do um, fancy stuff with the lights and he's just dropping in the middle stuff. of the video. So it's like all of a sudden yeah. there's light. Don't drop that. That's like a $200. Don't light. drop that down to that. All right. <laughs> We're professionals over here. Uh, anyway, so the, the the way the Morgan's laid out is it's power cut and volume. Um, so the power is uh, is just kind of like your clean headroom. And then your yeah. volume is like your pre's that really drive that. And so as I turn this on, it sounds a lot like what it would sound like if I cranked my volume. Totally. But without making me crank yeah, the yeah. volume. Like it just sounds good and it's not as loud. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's relatively simple too. You've got gain and you've got level. And then you've got a three band EQ and that's really great for someone like me. Cause all my amps are basically like two knobbers, like a high and a low knob. Yeah. It's great to have mid control totally. on my board. So now I can kind of control my mids a bit. Um, it's just a great pedal. Like I said, I used it always on the last time I played. I had no problems with it. Super great pedal. Sounds awesome. The freaking lights, the knobs. Dude, that's the bomb. It's so cool. It, like I was saying, it just makes you want to play more because you're like, I just want to see it light up more. Yeah, it it flashes these LEDs with your picking dynamics, and it's just so rad. I seriously wish every pedal I had did this, and if every pedal I did have, do have, did that, then it like if there was ever like a problem with my uh, my connections in my board flow, I would see exactly where it is. I'm like, oh, there's the pedal that's that's gone wrong. You know, we might have just stumbled upon something genius. I know, right? It'd be so good if everyone made their pedals have this, or maybe someone could put it in like the patch cables or something, a little yes. indicator light. Or we could just put them in our guitars. Oh, put them in the guitars. So every time we show a chord, our guitar goes, Bring! dude, I would love to have the light circuit from this and mount it into like a clear acrylic guitar and have it like on a dark stage when you're playing, like the guitar lights up with your picking dynamics. That'd be freaking rad. That'd be freaking rad. Super rad. Uh, is there anything else that we want to say about this thing? I mean, there's the dip switches inside. 
Uh, we covered that a little bit in the video. It seemed like it gives you a little bit different sounds, maybe tightens up the drive a little bit, maybe make yourself a little bit more tube screamier or a little bit more fuzzy. Screamier. Uh, screamier. Yeah. Um, I think the, the setting that it comes stock on is the setting that most people are going to want, which is both dip switches down. Yeah. But there's some options in there to play around with. Totally. And that's what's nice is like I love builders who, uh, I think we talked about this uh the last episode that I was on uh, was like Earthquaker devices, people who build stuff that it's just like there are options that maybe 90% of the people won't want to use, but yeah. 10% will. And yeah. they definitely cover that with having just some enough enough stuff to make it a, a fun universal p- pedal while at the same time could be a very, very unique sound to you if you choose to go that route. Absolutely. So. And, it, and speaking of versatile, like I think this thing lands in the same territory as like the palisades from earthquake or devices yeah. where it's like you put this on your board and it just covers so much ground because of how versatile the eq section is and how much tonal variety you get out of the gain structure like this this thing could replace several pedals on your board easily oh yeah like you, it can play double duty as your fuzz it can be your super light transparent sort of overdrive it can be your middle of the road crunchy stuff it's just a great pedal. I've been nothing but impressed with it ever since I we got it about a week ago over here. Yeah, just super impressed. Uh, you guys should all go check out the Kickstarter for this thing. Uh, he's trying to raise, I think, $7,500. Uh, it just started a couple days ago as of this video being up. So go check it out. There will be a link on the YouTube description, and there will be links on the, the 60 Cycle Hum uh, Facebook group and Facebook page. Uh you guys all want this pedal. I'm just going to tell you right now. So go support it on Kickstarter. You know, help this thing become a reality. Because this is unit zero. Like yeah. We opened up the back and it says number zero. This is like the prototype. So we got to get more of these things out in the wild. And it looks fresh. We it's gotta, got a crown on it. It's got a crown on it. You got to get more of these things on people's boards. And you got a cereal made after it. And there's a cere- a breakfast cereal for it. Yeah. What other pedal has a breakfast cereal that goes with it? None. I can't think of any. Well, I mean, whatever pedal company wants to pay you enough to, to have make a one. breakfast yeah, cereal yeah, yeah. box. Yeah. Then you could have one too. <laughs> Hashtags shameless plug. Yeah. How, how are you feeling right now? You feel sticky? Dude, well, I chipped my tooth, so that's the only... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to make you feel bad. I just think it's so funny. Like, this whole time I've been playing, I'm just like rubbing it like... Yeah. You, he, you dug into the counter a little hard going after that sweet, sweet cereal. That That's, sweet it's Civic my, Crown Crunch. Cinnamon? No, c- Civic? Civic. 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 <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, I'm just stinky with milk and cereal right now. It feels and so orange gross. juice all over your beard. And orange juice. Oh, it's so gross right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed our little mini-sode here. Uh, like I said, Kickstarter, Facebook, blah, 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 whatever. You get it. All right. Thanks, DJ. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun.